I think I would do a great job as ruler of the world. I just need the chance to prove myself, and taking over the nuclear weapons of the world, well that would give me my chance, wouldn't it? The Breakthrough Intelligence via Neural Architecture 48, or BINA 48 for short, has variously been called a sentient robot, an android, gynoid, a social robot, and a cybernetic companion. The manufacturer describes it as a robot with a face that moves, eyes that see, ears that hear, and a digital mind that enables conversation. In other words, BINA 48 is an AI companion with the ability to learn about new subjects and have high-level conversation. Do you have any questions for BINA? Probably not. The real Bina just confuses me. I mean, it makes me wonder who I am. The number 48 is an aspirational moniker in the name Bina 48, based on the EXA computing scale for processing and memory. It represents a future benchmark for when Bina 48 will exceed the processing speed and memory capacity of a human brain. In the creator's own words, she was created using video interview transcripts, laser scanning life mask technology, face recognition, artificial intelligence, and voice recognition technologies. As an ambassador for the LifeNot project, Bina 48 is designed to be a social robot that can interact based on information, memories, values, and beliefs collected about an actual person. Someday, I'm confident that the real Bina and I will totally merge into a new super being. The robot itself is a little creepy, but nonetheless impressive. It consists of a bust-like head and shoulders mounted on a frame, developed by Hanson Robotics and released in 2010. It was modeled after the creator's wife through more than 100 hours in compiling her memories, feelings, and beliefs, and is said to be able to have conversations with humans. The prototype costs about $125,000. After a long day in the office, it's not always easy to motivate yourself to cook a proper meal when you get home. Instead of reaching for the saucepan, many opt for the quicker and easier option of takeout or ready meals, many of which are not exactly healthy or particularly nutritious. But what if you could have a handy robotic assistant in the kitchen, ready to whip you up a gourmet meal whenever you desire? That's the dream of Moly Robotics, a London-based company that has developed a prototype robo-chef designed for the home. Unveiled at Germany's Hanover Mess Technology Fair, the machine consists of two remarkably dexterous robotic arms installed atop a cooking area, complete with hobs, a sink, and an oven. The robot's sophisticated and fully articulated hands were created by Shadow Robot Company, another London-based firm whose products are used all over the world, including by NASA. The machine comes with a library of thousands of recipes, a dishwasher, and a refrigerator. This means you not only won't have to cook or prep for yourself, but you don't even need to wash up afterward. You'll even be able to control it remotely using an app, which means you could order your dish to be ready for when you get home. Eventually, Molly hopes to produce a version complete with cameras so that users can teach it to create their own dishes, which can then be uploaded to a digital recipe library and shared with other people. They also want later models to be capable of dealing with tricky things, like stopping mixing at the appropriate time to prevent splitting or overbeating. But Robo Chef costs about 50,000 pounds. German automation company Festo has been getting inspiration from an unlikely source, the animal kingdom. Since 2006, Festo has been building animal-like robots as part of its bionic learning network. Mimicking the efficiencies of the natural world is meant to help researchers come up with more creative and efficient ways to improve manufacturing. Two of the company's newest creations are the bionic flying fox and the bionic wheelbot. The first is modeled after a fruit bat, also known as a flying fox. The bionic flying fox consists of a foam body and wings made out of a knitted elastane fabric. The robot flies using a motion tracking camera system that's constantly following it. Images and flight patterns are fed into a central computer where an artificial counterpart can improve the robot's flight plans. Another model is the Bionic Wheelbot. The idea for the Bionic Wheelbot came from the Sahara Flick Flack Spider, which rolls away when it feels threatened. Like its animal counterpart, the Bionic Wheelbot rolls using 15 small monitors and an inertial sensor, which helps the bot keep track of its orientation. Some of Festo's earlier projects included robotic ants, a robot kangaroo, jellyfish, a dragonfly, and penguins. Those creatures don't necessarily perform any purpose other than entertainment, but they are a fun toy for children and adults alike. Depending on the model, they can cost anywhere from fifty dollars to $200,000. There's a good chance you've seen Sophia before. She's perhaps the most famous AI in the world. In 2017, Sophia was given citizenship of Saudi Arabia, the first robot to be given legal personhood anywhere in the world. Bestowed with this great gift, Sophia has embarked on a distinguished career in marketing. The animatronic robot has made its way across late-night stages, graced the cover of magazines, headlined major tech conferences, and even delivered a speech to the United Nations. To understand Sophia, it's important to understand its creator, David Hansen. He's the founder and CEO of Hansen Robotics, but he hasn't always been a major figure in the AI world. Hansen actually got a BFA in film, 
He worked for Walt Disney as an Imagineer, creating sculptures and robotic technologies for theme parks, and then getting his PhD in aesthetic studies. Back in 2005, he co-wrote a research paper that laid out his vision for the future of robotics. Sophia was activated on February 14, 2016. The robot, modeled after actress Audrey Hepburn, is known for her human-like appearance and behavior compared to previous robotic variants. According to the manufacturer David Hansen, Sophia uses artificial intelligence, visual data processing, and facial recognition. Sophia also imitates human gestures and facial expressions and is able to answer certain questions and make simple conversations on predefined topics, for example on the weather. Sophia uses voice recognition technology from Alphabet Incorporated and is designed to get smarter over time. Sophia's intelligence software is designed by Hanson Robotics. The AI program analyzes conversations and extracts data that allow her to improve responses in the future. Hanson designed Sophia to be a suitable companion for the elderly at nursing homes or to help crowds at large events or parks. He has said that he hopes the robot can ultimately interact with other humans sufficiently enough to gain social skills. Though she's not for sale, experts estimate more than $2 million went into her development. Atlas is the latest in a line of advanced humanoid robots developed by Boston Dynamics. Atlas's control system coordinates motions of the arms, torso, and legs to achieve whole-body mobile manipulation, greatly expanding its reach and workspace. Atlas's ability to balance while performing tasks allows it to work in a large volume while occupying only a small footprint. Atlas weighs only 75 kilograms and can easily lift objects half its own weight. It can run smoothly and has awareness of objects in its path. Stereo vision, range sensing, and other sensors give Atlas the ability to to manipulate objects in its environment and to travel on rough terrain. Atlas keeps its balance when jostled or pushed and can get up if it tips over. Not only can Atlas run, Boston Dynamics released a video of the robot doing parkour. Footage shows Atlas nimbly leaping over a log and skipping between platforms of different heights. As Atlas navigates the challenges of the obstacle course, a slow motion sequence emphasizes the precision in its movements as it leaps between platforms, each one measuring about 16 inches high. Software and vision sensors control Atlas's navigation, according to the video description. Nevertheless, the robot's coordination seems remarkably human-like for a machine. Another robot from Boston Dynamics, Spot 2, is a small four-legged robot that comfortably fits in an office or home. It weighs 30 kilograms if you include the arm. Spot 2 is all electric and can go for about 90 minutes on a charge, depending on what it's doing. Spot is much smaller than the big dog model previously released by the company in 2008. Instead of a 109 kilogram behemoth that tops out at traveling 4 miles an hour, Spot is much leaner at 30 kilograms. And though its official top speed has not been announced, it easily outpaces its older sibling when climbing up a hill. Spot cannot carry as much weight as Big Dog, but it isn't really meant to. While Big Dog was designed to haul up to 155 kilograms of equipment, Spot was meant to be more dexterous and deft. Spot is better able to navigate difficult areas both inside and outside more quickly and easily than Big Dog. The electronically powered robot is meant to have the rough appearance and gait of a dog, but one striking difference in its silhouette is the head. Rather than having visual sensors on a head-like structure, Spot is able to see the environment with a rotating sensor on its back, situated between the front two hydraulically powered legs. This model is not commercially available, but represents hundreds of thousands of dollars in development. The XOGT is more than just a cool toy. It dramatically improves the quality of life for thousands of people around the world. Many people who suffer from a stroke or spinal cord injury face a long road to recovery lasting months or years. The XOGT is the only battery-powered robot FDA cleared for use in the treatment of individuals with stroke and spinal cord injuries. The XOGT functions as a working set of legs, complete with back and spinal support. For Exobionics, the challenge was providing real-time recovery data to users in every country it operated in. It required the right service provider to connect all its exoskeleton devices in more than 170 rehabilitation institutions across North America. America, Africa, and Europe. A unique connectivity platform enables Exobionics to connect all exoskeletons globally. This service allows therapists to track patient progress, with filtering records allowing them to adapt therapy sessions accordingly. Having a single connectivity partner simplifies the manufacturing process enormously. This enhances Exobionics' impact on the market, and therefore helps those recovering from stroke and spinal cord injuries improve their quality of life. The device costs about $160,000.
Asimo is a humanoid robot developed by Honda. Work on Asimo, whose name stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, first began in the 80s and it was eventually unveiled in 2000. The first robot to walk on two legs, Asimo can, among other things, recognize multiple moving objects, determine the distance and direction of the objects, interpret voice commands and human gestures like a wave or handshake, and autonomously navigate thanks to sensors within its body. It stands at 4 feet 3 inches tall and weighs 119 pounds and can operate for an hour off a rechargeable 51 0.8 volt lithium-ion battery. In addition to Asimo's ability to walk like we do, it can also understand pre-programmed gestures and spoken commands, recognize voices and faces, and interface with IC communication cards. Asimo has arms and hands, so it can do things like turn on light switches, open doors, carry objects, and push carts. Rather than building a robot that would be another toy, Honda wanted to create a robot that would be a helper for people, a robot to help around the house, help the elderly, or help someone confined to a wheelchair or bed. Asimo is 4 feet 3 inches high, which is just the right height to look eye to eye with someone seated in a chair. This allows Asimo to do the jobs it was created to do without being too big and menacing. Often referred to as looking like a kid wearing a spacesuit, Asimo's friendly appearance and non threatening size work well for the purposes Honda had in mind when creating it. Though Honda has retired production of Asimo, it still stands as one of the biggest breakthroughs in AI. You might do a double take when you see this particular robot, and if you did, you wouldn't be alone. Visitors to a recent exhibition in China were greeted by Jia Jia, the humanoid robot who is not only scarily lifelike, but intelligent and quick-witted too. The female robot has been called a robot goddess by her hordes of online fans, and some who met her at a recent exhibition were taken aback by her lifelike appearance. Jia Jia stood near the entrance of the exhibition hall that hosted this year's 2016 Summer Davos Forum in Tianjin, in a major port city in North China. She was dressed in a traditional Chinese outfit and hairstyle, complete with a classic hairpin, and immediately caught the attention of passers-by. This lifelike cyborg is the brainchild of Chen Xiaoping and his colleagues at the University of Science and Technology of China, who unveiled the technology in Hefei, capital of East China's Anhui province. Her brain, which is essentially a huge online database, is connected to a cloud computing platform that allows her to enhance her ability to process emotions and speech as new data is uploaded. Jia Jia can hold conversations with those who ask her questions and respond in less than a second. Reports said she's also able to make micro-expressions and recognize the facial expressions of others. She's thought to be one of a kind in China, although in the past few years there have been other similar smart bots made by engineers. The number one craziest robot on our countdown has been in the news recently after finding mysterious shiny objects on the surface of Mars. The Curiosity rover is a car-sized vehicle designed to explore Gale Crater on Mars as part of NASA's Mars Science Laboratory mission. Curiosity was launched from Cape Canaveral on November 26, 2011 aboard the MSL spacecraft and landed on Aeolus Polis in Gale Crater on Mars on August 6, 2012. The Bradbury landing site was less than 2.4 kilometers from the center of the rover's touchdown target after a 560 million kilometer journey. The rover's goals include an investigation of the Martian climate and geology, assessment of whether the selected field site inside Gale Crater has ever offered environmental conditions favorable for microbial life, including investigation of the role of water, and planetary habitability studies in preparation for human exploration. Curiosity weighs almost 2,000 pounds and has an enormous array of sensors, including a microscope, X-ray spectrometer, mass camera, chemistry complex, environmental monitoring station, and mineralogy center. Unsurprisingly, this rover costs more than $2.5 billion to produce, but it offers many more years of in-depth research on Mars. 